What's going on guys? Welcome to Tech Savvy Buyer. So we finally, lo and behold, I've got a hack for the 3.69 and 3.7 Ovita. So for all my Vita fans out there, welcome to the club guys. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to go ahead and proceed with the hack. I'm also going to link to you guys the files and everything that you're going to need to follow the tutorial. If you don't want to watch this and you want to just go through and see the instructions straightforward from the flow, you can visit the website. That link will be in the description below as well. And of course, if you guys don't know what to do with your system once you've hacked it, I have already made a video on that and you guys can check that out as well. Link is in the description for that also. And actually, I'll go ahead and post it up here. Now. So this has taken quite a while, guys. I noticed that a lot of you guys have been sitting tight on 3.69 and 3.70 for a while. And even so, when I did my last video on how to hack this, I got a lot of good feedback from you guys, so thank you. And we are going to go ahead and proceed with how to do it with the 3.69 and 3.7, because a lot of you guys, like I said in my last video, had that firmware or accidentally upgraded, or you did something, or you bought one that came with 3.70 or 3.69, now you can finally take advantage of the system's full capability just by being able to hack it and put some other good third-party software on there that you want to use. Now, before I begin the tutorial, I will give you guys a little bit of a heads up. This video is going to be long. As you guys know, my tutorials are always a little bit longer, but they're much more detailed. If you guys want a quick, decent tutorial, actually a very good tutorial in my opinion, go follow Tech James. He is awesome. A lot of props to that guy. Does a good job with um, hacking and stuff, and I look to him as an inspiration for some of my videos when I'm doing tutorials as well. Um, however, mine, obviously I have a different style of doing mine, so if you guys know the drill here, this is what you're gonna get. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and begin the tutorial. So we're gonna stop here, we're gonna jump back onto the computer, do all the steps from there, and in between, if I need to record my actual device, I will do that as well. Um, I know I'm showing you the black one here and the blue one. Both of these are actually dead right now, or maybe this one is not. Um, okay, so this one is not dead. This one is dead for sure. I haven't played around with these in a while. And I have a white one back there that's on charge. I'm actually gonna use the white one for the hacking purpose because these ones are already on lower firmwares and I have some other apps and stuff installed in here that I don't wanna mess with. But anyways, let's get to it. Sorry for the nonsense. Oh, and by the way, actually, one more thing. Thank you very much for giving me 30K subscribers, guys. I am truly blessed to have you as my viewership. I really mean that. I'm not just saying that because I'm on camera, behind some place or whatnot, but honestly, it means a lot. You know, the hard work that I put into this channel, it shows that you guys really care about that. And I appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. Now, with that being said, I also wanna add that there will be a link to the giveaway. I'm actually gonna give away the white Vita that I'm going to hack in today's video. That is for you guys. Whoever wins it, gets it. I've got a couple other goodies that I'm also going to give away and you guys will have the details to that in the Gleam entry as well. So stay tuned, again, we should kick off, but let's go back to the hack tutorial, coming up. Okay guys, so just before we head over to the actual computer, what we want to make sure is that we're running the right firmware that's going to be hacked. So you want to double check and make sure that your software is running, in fact, 3.69 or 3.7. Fuck that fingers. All right. 3.70 is what I'm running. Yes, you guys can see my Mac address. I really don't care. And that is what I have. So if you're using a fat version like I have here, the OLED screen, you need to make sure that you have a memory card in it as well. If you are on 3.69, I would say just go ahead and update to 3.70 to make your life easy and avoid all the DNS stuff. But if you want to, you can follow the instructions with basically having a 3.69 with a DNS server set up. Now, for this to work, what you really need to make sure you have is that your system is activated, meaning your Vita is set up with a valid PSN account. So in this case, I've set mine up with my original ID. I can go ahead and sign in, and I will go ahead and sign in. And the point of this is because one, you wanna make sure that you have it activated, and in addition to making sure that you have it activated, you need to be able to access the PS Store because that's actually part of the hack. So the first thing you need to do is actually download a PSP game for a free demo, basically. And on the guide, they listed that if you're in North America, you can download Loco Roco Midnight Carnival. If you're in the UK, you can download Ape Quest, or sorry, yeah, Ape Quest. And if you're in Japan, you can download something something seven, YS7. Sorry for butchering that. 
but it has to be a PSP game, not a PS Vita game, not a PS1 game. It can either be a PSP game or a minis game. So it's pretty easy to, to do that. And you can just pretty much search them here. So if we go to classics, um, actually what I'll do here is just type in Loco Roco. Well, let's just type in Loco. Um, Loco. Okay, so here, this is the demo that we're gonna need. And you can see it says PSP right there. So that's what you need. You're gonna go ahead and download that. You need to have an active PSN account. Remember, you can't do this without it. And that's why you actually also have to be with um, the latest firmware, basically. That's why you need to have 3.69 or 3.7 is just so you can actually download the demo onto the system. And with 3.69, you can't officially access the PS Store. So hence you use the DNS server addresses. And basically that's the gist of it. That's why you gotta have this where it is. So make sure the download is complete. As you guys can see, mine is gonna take a little bit of time here. It says four minutes. So once this is done, what we're gonna do is move on to the next step, which is go over to the computer and I will walk you guys from there. Okay guys, so welcome to the PC portion of this tutorial. Now, what we've already gone ahead and verified was that the PS Vita was running on a 3.69 or 3.70 operating system or firmware. And in addition to that, we went ahead and downloaded a demo that we would need to make this work. So the specific demo that I looked up was Loco Roco, and that is the specific one that you need to use since it's a free demo. Um, it's actually not the specific one, let me recorrect myself. You can use any PSP game or minis game that you wanna use. Um, just make sure that it's tied to your account and that you have your device activated with a verified account. You need all that stuff to make sure it works. And the purpose for that is not so anyone can keep tabs on you or anything, but the real reason for that is just that when you're copying files to and from the PS Vita, it has to match your ID, basically. Otherwise, you know, people can just download other games that they want and copy it over. It doesn't really work that way. So each game that you download with your system gives you a unique key or ID, and we're actually gonna use that later on in the process. So very first things that you guys wanna start doing in the tutorial is you wanna go ahead and download and install QCMA and PSV image tools. So I already have them open. Um, I already have them downloaded and installed as well, but just for the sake of it, I will show you guys what it looks like and how you go ahead and proceed it. So here is QCMA. You go ahead and open that up and you begin the install process. This is really basic. There's nothing complicated on this. And in fact, I'm not actually gonna walk you guys through this because it's a piece of cake. So if you cannot do this, then you have problems bigger than trying to hack your Vita and I'm sorry. Anyways, there we are. So we're gonna quit out that and make sure you download this PSV image extract. And this one you wanna keep handy, make sure it suits the system that you're on. I am on a Windows 64-bit system, so I'm gonna keep that down there. Now that we have these two things downloaded, uh, the third thing that you're gonna to wanna to download is Trinity. And what it does is it downloads this file called pboot.pbp. I already have a bunch of those downloaded as well, but I caught one more here for you guys to use. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna transfer over the game that we downloaded on the Vita over to the PC. Okay, so I've gone ahead and connected my Vita to the PC as you guys can see here. And now what you're gonna to wanna to do is open up Content Manager. So open that up and you're gonna click Copy Content. And if you are updated to 3.7 with a legit version, everything should run fine and there shouldn't be any kind of issues. You wanna click on Copy Content from the PS Vita system to the PC. And we're gonna go ahead and click Applications. We're gonna choose PSP Other. And then you're gonna go ahead and copy this over to your PC. Now, don't worry if you have a low battery warning, it doesn't actually stop you from copying. Just click OK and it'll go ahead with it. So give it a few seconds while it goes ahead and copies that to your PC. So just before we actually go ahead and work with that file, we wanna make sure that you open up QCMA you wanna go into settings and make sure that your version for updates is set to 0.00, .00 and that your protocol selection is set to latest. Make sure that your screen looks exactly like mine and you should be fine. Go ahead and click okay. Now the game that downloaded, we actually had that copied over into our documents folder. I'm just gonna pull that up here. And it's in a folder called PS Vita, P game. Here is the actual game. And I know that this is the one because the file size is 187 megabytes. So for simplicity, I'm actually gonna copy this out and I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder. Let's just call it on my desktop. Let's call this PS Vita Trinity Hack. Okay, 
I'm gonna go ahead and paste that in here. Now, what you actually need is this big name here, okay, the actual title. This is the unique key that's associated with your PSN ID and the copy of this game. And that's why I was saying you need to make sure your device is activated. So grab this, we're gonna go over to our link. It should say random number generator and you're gonna go ahead and click paste. Go ahead and click submit and it should spit out this specific key. Your everyone's will be different. Yours is not gonna be anything like mine. It, again, it varies with your system and account and all that. So you basically need to have this key handy. Now that we got the key, it's a good idea to go ahead and store your key somewhere handy. So open up a file of notepad and just put it inside there. Now you can see that there is some other stuff here in this guide, specific lines that they're gonna use or code that's gonna be used in a command prompt. So all I did was copy this and paste it into this notepad, just like I'm gonna do right in front of you. And you see where it says your key? This is where you're gonna replace it with, guess what? your key <laughs> so it's pretty straightforward right you're gonna replace this with your key and that's basically how I got that line this line I went ahead and did it ahead of time for you guys so we could save time in this tutorial and not make it super super long I went ahead and did the same exact thing for this line down here which is this guy so basically I have at this point I have a game ready to copy or sorry a game that's been copied over and put into a separate file i've got my key that's ready to use and now what we need to do is start working with those tools and other things that we downloaded so i have this psv image tools opened up and what you want to do is go ahead and extract all of this to the folder that you just put that game in so i had it in my desktop in the psv to trinity hack Here's the game. You're gonna go down one more subfolder. You're actually gonna go into this subfolder, the last subfolder that actually expands out. Click on that, hit okay, let it get extracted in there, and you are good to go from there. Now, pretty straightforward, once you open this up, you should see all those files are copied over. Now, for you to actually use this coding here, you're gonna to have to make sure that you have the command prompt open in that directory, which means command prompt should be looking in this directory. So the best and easiest way to do it is just click on this bar here, type CMD and hit enter. And you could see it automatically took us all the way here. Now all I did was grab this code here. I'm gonna click control C and I'm gonna paste it over here and hit enter. It should start creating a file and then click all done. So, so far everything went ahead and did its extraction and we haven't had any kind of issues there so far. Now you'll see there's actually a new folder that was created. So before we had game, license, and this one, now they added game underscore DEC. And there's another folder in there too. And here you've got this stuff, these folders. So basically what we need to do is we need to copy this pboot file into that folder that we just saw. So what we're gonna do is click show in folder. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this, click copy, and then go back into that file folder right here and go ahead and click paste. Now that this is pasted, we are actually ready to go ahead and run that code again. So we're gonna back out into this main area again. We're gonna type CMD one more time or actually, if you already have the window open, you don't need to do that CMD step. You can just paste it here. So since I have it open, I'm just gonna go ahead and paste it here. But the code that we're gonna wanna use now is the second one that's on the bottom. You're gonna hit Control C, I'm gonna go ahead and click Control V and press Enter. And now it should start basically repacking the game into a hacked version of the game. Now that this is completed, you are pretty much done with using command prompt. You can go ahead and close all of this out and delete those files if you need to. Now what you wanna do is make sure that you remove the game underscore December folder from this portion. So go ahead and delete that. You can actually go ahead and delete all of this stuff as well. And basically this is a hacked version of your game. So here's that file. This is ready to go and get copied over to your actual Vita. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna reconnect our Vita to the PC and we're gonna copy this file over. So just before we go ahead and connect to the system, what we need to do is make sure that that game is gonna be copied into an area where the PS Vita is gonna read it. So as it sits right now, we have the game sitting inside the Vita Trinity hack. What we wanna do is grab this, click copy, we're gonna go over back to documents. If you remember that, that's where it got saved. We'll click into PS Vita, go into P game, and we're gonna click Control V. We're gonna replace the one that's in there. 
This was the original one that got copied over. Now the PS Vita is gonna look for this file, which is the hacked one. So we're pretty much ready to go ahead and hook up our Vita. So I will see you guys on the Vita screen now. But just before we do that, we wanna make sure we refresh the database of our QCMA. As you can see, it went ahead and refreshed and made it available so to do that. Okay, so now that we have the file ready to copy over, just remember that you refresh your database before plugging it in. Go ahead and click Content Manager, click on Start. You're gonna wanna click Copy Content, and this time we're gonna be moving stuff from the PC over to the Vita. So we're gonna click on PC to the Vita, click Applications, then PSP Other, and now you should actually see the game that is hacked. Go ahead and click Copy, click OK, Okay, again. Now, if you guys get any errors during this process, most likely you either have something that's incorrect inside your file. So one thing to make sure is if you download multiple versions, Google likes to go ahead and add a comma and a one, it won't read that. So make sure you rename the file exactly how I showed you here in the tutorial so that it matches up fine. All right, now that it is all copied, we should see a new app on our home screen. So let's go ahead and close this out. And you can see Trinity is now available on the home screen. You click on Trinity. It's still gonna show you the app for LocoRoco, but once you click start, it should go off into the actual Trinity app. So now if you get an exploit failed here, which is pretty typical, it's not a big deal. All you gotta do is just rerun it. So this happens sometimes, no worries, nothing to panic about. Just click it again and click start. And boom, there you can see the animation for the Trinity exploit by the flow. And you will now have access to actually installing Vita Shell onto your device and opening up Henkaku settings. So what we're gonna do real quick here is just go ahead and install Henkaku. Done, and we'll download Vita Shell as well. And we will install that also so that we have a fully hacked and system ready to go. And guys, that is pretty much the end of this tutorial in terms of how to go ahead and install. Once you get to this step and you're able to have Henkaku and Vita Shell in, you're pretty much good to go ahead and do all the other stuff that you can do once you have a hacked Vita. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and move the camera over back to myself. We are done with the tutorial and you can see Vita Shell has been installed here too. We got Trinity. We are pretty much good to go. So let's see you guys at the desk. And that was pretty much the end of the tutorial, guys. Thank you very much for sticking through that. If you guys have any questions or you get any errors or anything like that, refer to the Flow's original link where he has the posting about this software. You can find anything on there. Obviously, he knows a ton load more than I would on this on how to, you know, bypass any kind of errors that you get. But for the most part, the gist of it is just restart the system if you get stuck somewhere. If it's telling you not to, or it's giving you a Wi-Fi error, just make sure you make that your Wi-Fi is enabled. All these things I just said are inside the actual document that the flow released regarding this hack. So if you guys need information, again, refer to that. But other than that, thank you very much for sticking through to the end. I know it was a long video and I hope it was worth it for you guys. I sincerely appreciate each and every one of you. Again, if you're new to this channel, do consider subscribing as it absolutely helps the channel grow and it motivates me to do more stuff for you guys. So thanks again for sticking to the end. I will see you on my next video. Until then, have a good one.